These are some wall sit exercises. Assuming we have a sore knee and we wanted to protect the knee with some muscle strengthening or the muscles around the knee. We start with wall sits. One foot length away from the wall. Feet in Pilates stance. Bend at the knees. Send the bottom. See the wall behind. <clears throat> Skater action. Just get the hips over the left foot. The heels touching the other ankle and just skate. We'll be doing this for 40 seconds. Let's get a forward lean on the body, nice straight back. And press into the wall, you can press that heel into the wall, 40 seconds. Press, press. Now take that foot on the ground, take the balls of toes and press them into the ground. Take the small toes and pull them over to the pocket of the heel. Take the ball of the big toe, pull it over to the outside of the foot, working away. Got uh, 10 more seconds to go. Forward lean on the body, now we're really working. Push the heel in. Push the heel in. Push the heel in. That foot working on the ground, squeeze the balls of toes together. And coming off the wall, bend at the hips, and rise up tall. Knees bent, off into the wall. Weight over the right foot and the heel close to the ankle. Skater action, wall to the heel and back. Wall to the foot, heel to the wall and back. Heel to the wall and put the angle on the body. Push, 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 push. Take the foot on the ground. Squeeze the balls and toes together. Take the small toes, pull them over to the pocket of the heel. Take the ball of the big toe and take it over to the outside of the foot. Squeeze the foot together. The weight's mostly on the front of the foot. Push with that heel. Push with that heel. Push with that heel. We've got another five seconds. Push. Pushing. Pushing. Into the hips and come on off. Doing now wall six with toes up. We can take the feet a little wider. Bend the knees. Send the bottom back to the wall behind. Toes up. Push through the left foot. I'm going to bring the feet a little bit further forward. Got the angle on the knees. Now the more angle on the knees we can have, the more the quad muscles are working. Let's enjoy this. 40 seconds from now. Push through the left foot, push the heel, the push the hip to the mat to the wall. Push through the right heel, push the hip to the wall. Push, push, push. You can really work this. Push, push the heel, push the heel, push the heel. Got the burn in the quads now. Push, push, push. Strong quads going to protect the knees. Into the hips, come on off. Wall sit with high heels. And into the wall. Get your heels off the ground. Remember the more bend in the knees, the more you're activating your quads, and that's a wonderful way to protect your knees. With the heels forward, lean forward. And squeeze the balls of toes together on both feet. Small balls of toes over to the pocket of the heel. In they go. Ball of big toe to the opposite side of the foot, pull it in. Same here. Small toes, pocket of heel. Ball of big toes, outside of the foot. Keep pushing in. Let's take one side and then Push. Push. Just push into the front of the foot and push your hip into the wall. Push your hip into the wall. Push your hip into the wall. Take another 20 seconds. Push. Push. Push, push, push. It's a lot nicer to be. It's a lot nicer to be moving than not. There you go. And coming off the wall, a little shake out of the quad, and you're feeling the burn now. Wall set, crow. The yoga exercise, the crow but we've got our bottom sitting against the wall. We can have one foot length in front, 
feet together, knees bent, put the bottom into the wall. Just bring your ankle up and push the knee down. We'll mobilize into this. Push. Again, we're doing 40 seconds. And if you're feeling up to it, you could uh, rewind the movie and just uh, run it a second time, a third time. So you take it two, through two or three times. Push the knee down. Push the knee down. And this is just mobilizing, getting all the muscles flexible and strong and coordinated around the knee. Push the knee down, just push the knee down. Feel the stretch in the side here. Another five seconds, push the knee down. And you just switch inside to get the weight out to the opposite foot. Shift the hips over, push the knee down, push the knee down. Now if you've got a sore knee, it could well be that it feels a little uncomfortable. So we mobilize in, just push the knee down, come out. That's mobilization, it's not a prolonged stretch, not yet. If all the muscles are strong, flexible, and coordinated up and down the leg, your leg will work in alignment, and that's got to be good for your knee. No nasty, unpredictable twists and wobbles, because your leg's strong and smooth, and riding on muscles that are working like a really smooth suspension system in a late model car. Okay, push into the stretch. We'll go another. 10 seconds, pushing down, keep smiling. Wall side stance, cock a leg. So we just put our hands on our hips, and there's an elbow touching the wall. That's about the right distance. We take uh, knee slightly bent, just bring your knee up, and so the heel's just below the opposite knee. And just take the foot out and push into the wall. And out and push into the wall. Push. Push. 40 seconds. Get a little forward bend on your body. Push. That foot on the ground. It's stabilizing. You've got the weight just over to the uh, side of the heel, the outside of the heel. Keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Pull the balls of toes together. The toes are gripping as well. Small toes, the top of the heel. Ball of big toe. Just pull it over to the opposite side of the foot. Familiar. Let's take another 10 seconds. Push, push. Push, push. We'll just turn around. Lift the heel to just below the opposite knee and the forward bend on the body. Push the foot into the wall and back. And we're away. 40 seconds. Push. My left foot is not so stable, it's a little wobbly. So let's push into the balls of toes, narrow the front of the foot. Let's squeeze it together. Small toes pull into the pocket over here. Ball of big toe pulling over to the middle of the outside of the foot. Push. Push. You can feel how this is stabilizing against any nasty twists or wobbles through the ankle or through the leg in general. Cock the leg, just push the feet into the wall. Do a little massage now. Tennis ball, or well actually a high bounce ball, just for around the glutes, around the back hip pocket. And uh, I'm just going to grab a stick. It's nice to lean on the stick while you're massaging with the ball between you and the wall. So here's the ball. We just put that ball center of hip pocket to start with, then the knees. Just sit down into the wall and up and down. A 
height balance ball has got quite a grip on it, so it won't slide around. Let me just move that ball just above the sit bones, maybe. Oh, I've got a lot of knots and tight bands in that muscle. Not surprising after that workout. With the ball behind you and the broomstick in front of you, that's going, you can just relax and really enjoy. Top of the hip pocket now. So again, we're just spending 40 seconds or so each side. You can always pause the movie and enjoy it for a little longer. I really encourage you to get a broomstick from the hardware store, or you can cut a nice straight stick out of the bush somewhere. And we're switching over. Center of hip pocket, just right around. Anywhere where there's some nice meaty muscle areas. You know, you can go to the side of the hip. If you're on the side of the hip, just get your ribs close to the wall. And this, the foot that's closest to the wall, there's no weight on that one. Most of the weight's on the foot away from the wall. You could still work at activating your foot because if you've got really strong foot and ankle muscles, that will protect your knee. Less jarring, less nasty twists and, jar and jarrings on your delicate knee cartilages. Oh, ribs close to the wall, I'm really getting into that. Up and down. So that's the hip pocket area. Just above the hips, quad lumborum muscle, just between the hips and the lowermost rib, I've got a bigger ball. This is a 10 centimeter expanded polypropylene poly ball. And just into the wall, rolling between hips and ribs. We can really get into this. We could take it up to the mid back as well, that's pretty good. And we can lean into that. You know, maybe about 40 seconds with this big ball as well. We can just take a hand over the head. I'm just going to reposition that ball. All around the side abs, even, even front. That's so good. And other side. It's good to compare sides. We'll lean on the stick again. So it is quite an active workout for your knees too. It may be if you've got a sore knee, you're going to have to put more weight on the other leg. That's all right. It's all learning how to work around your sore knee. I work around that sore knee in a coordinated, non-jarring fashion. Oh yeah. Up the ribs a little. A little higher. Ooh. To the side, get the elbow up over the head. Let's stick away. And in, in front. This is all helping the, the core of your body to be uh, strong and flexible. A little more control, so there's absolutely no jerking and jarring. The whole body's more aligned, so you're working with an aligned man. So a uh, ball for the soles of the feet, you could use a tennis ball for this. But again, it's a really nice way to massage your soles of your feet. If you lean into the wall, lean on the stick, and just push. Get along the pocket of the heel there, that's pocket of the heel. Pocket of the heel, that's where you pull your small toes towards. You can massage along the outside of the foot. And in fact, uh, you can just put your heel down and windscreen wiping your foot side to side, that's real nice. I've got one really warm, vibrant, live foot here. And remember the other cue with it. Small toes to pocket of heel, it's ball a big toe to the opposite side of the foot. You're working the, uh, the uh, X support of the foot arches. Because there are muscles that run in the diagonal across under the foot. You change the feet over there. Change the ball to the other feet, foot. Portion, this is so good. Pushing. Cool. Yeah, 
there's some really tight areas in here. Now if I can get this foot, this lazy foot working better, that's going to protect this knee. I do have some issues with my knee, this has got a slight cartilage problem in this knee. If I get this foot working better, solar foot muscles are more strongly activated. I'm really pushing on the ball of fourth toe now because I'm thinking about it a little more because I have a blind spot, especially around that ball of fourth toe area. So if I can get my awareness into that area and use it a bit more. If you haven't got your awareness in the body part, the muscles will tend to shorten and there'll be a lot less movement. Okay, I'll just do the calf muscles. Nice to lean against the wall. Tennis ball or a hybrid ball like this high bounce ball is really nice. I've got, so this is 50 centimeters above the ground, which is just a couple of blocks side to side. I mean, you could find something similar, even if it's just a thick old hardcover book. So I've got my heel on the ground, I've got my hands pressing me off the mat, off the ground, and just spin myself. Nice to lean against the wall, but for demonstration purposes, I'll let you see that a little bit. Rolling along. Yeah, if the hips are off the ground, we can easily roll that ball and that muscle. You see the angle on the foot, and I'm getting the pinky and the big toe side of the foot. Stand of the car. We can now do the opposite leg, we can come to a side. I'm getting I'm just a uh, heel on the ground, diving towards the bottom of the calf muscle, lift the hips, push up on the hands. Again, I'm just looking about 40 seconds for each movie, you can always just pause the movie. Make it a little bit longer. If you were to run this session twice over, you'd have a good half hour and you'd be well on the way to sorting out a minor niggle in a knee cartridge. If it's something more major, you'd have to just modify that and just see what you could do. The main principles that are here with a sore joint is that you want to get strength into the joint with minimal movement. You want to get muscles engaged, but minimal movement in the joint. You want to mobilize with no pressure on the joint. And take mobilization into a sustained stretch, if you can. Just exploring the limits of what the joint will give you in terms of range of motion. And then massage. And overall, just getting awareness. In this case, awareness is an awful lot of that. Just getting the lazy foot arch muscles working. So we've got the strength with limited movement, minimal movement of the knee joint, mobilization on a very light load, followed up with stretch and massage for movement strategies to fix just about any problem, in this case, a sore knee. And then overall awareness, the fifth strategy is just getting awareness of your body. That's it.